What is up guys, Woody LS3 coming at you with another vlog. Today guys, we're actually going to be going to my buddy Chris's shop because we're gonna do some stuff on my turbo truck. We're gonna do some little things that I need to do and then we might possibly put it on the dyno today. My boy Chris out there obviously has a dyno at the shop. So we don't know how much power this thing actually makes. Obviously it's on a street tune. It has been working really good. Yeah, it's been holding up this whole time, but I really don't know how much power it makes. So we might throw it on the dyno if we have time. I know we are gonna change the thermostat and I do have like a little small coolant leak. It, uh, when I went to the track with my boy Freddy and when I was in the line, my truck did start overheating a little. So I definitely wanna check all that out. We're gonna go ahead and try to put it on the lift with my boy Darwin and uh, Ricky. So we're gonna go over there, do some quick maintenance on this thing, and hopefully if we have time, we will go ahead and put it on the dyno. So without further ado, let's go ahead and move my extended cab out of the way, and then let's get this thing out. So it's been a while since I drove this truck, so let's go ahead and go. Let's go ahead and start this one. What's up, what's up? Hey, I didn't say I was gonna get on the dyno, Chris, what the hell? Wow, you're already here. Oh, you're already strapped <laughs> up, yeah. Strap it up or what, Ricky? Strap it up before you said yeah, no. Strap it up. <laughs> Alright guys, so we're here at my boy Chris's shop. Damn, what's up, Chris? What's up? Chris, my boy Ricky. What's up, bro? What's up? This is not part of the plan. We're not gonna put the truck on the dyno yet, but I guess, I don't know, what do you think, Ricky? We should put it on right now or what? Do it. <laughs> You're probably leaving some horsepower on the table. Oh man! You don't want to win that bad yet. Nah, it's, I want to let. I want to keep them guessing, man. I don't want to. I don't want them to know my horsepower. <laughs> but well, what's the reason why you want to put on a dyno? Because you can we tune can it better. Yes, we can see like a, every, every little degree helps or not. You know what I'm saying? We can see if a degree here helps, if a degree here doesn't help. You know what I'm saying? We can we can get the spark curve perfect. Oh, okay, okay. You know what I'm saying? We don't, right now it's just one spark timing flat, which is cool. It works, you know, she's doing her job, but we can probably bump a degree here and there, you know what I'm saying, to get the most, most out of it safely. Oh, okay. This All is right. more like a controlled environment, like a controlled track. We get to, you know, see data, take a look at spark plugs. Yeah, you know? not like how last time we had to turn it off. Yeah, turn it we off. We had to reprogram it, put the new stuff in, and then turn it back on, go yeah. out. And remember, we were going parking lot to parking lot, you yeah, know, it was kind of yeah. getting hot. Yeah, no, it, it does get hot, so this is safer, and uh, obviously it's going to show you everything on your computer yeah. and everything, right? Yeah, yeah. And then give a horsepower number, so. Yeah. Should we let them know what that is, or? Oh, I mean, I don't care. I mean, I'm going to tell you the truth. This dyno reads low, but, you know, truck's hit 7.5 or faster. Oh so, oh, so this is one of them uh, heartbreaking dynos, huh? Yeah. Damn. It's low, so let them, let them know. <laughs> you know. Is all we got. All right, guys, so we're gonna go ahead and we might strap it down. I don't know, I'm gonna talk to Chris, everything that's going on with the truck, uh, which is nothing bad. Like I said, I just got a small coolant leak. It did overheat it on the track, and that's the only time it overheated. I've been on stuck in traffic and it hasn't overheated, but I just wanna make sure, double check everything before we actually throw it on. All right, guys, we gotta hit the thermostat. Got some coolant. And then, why are we doing this, Chris? To make the motor run a little colder. You know, a little colder is a little safer for the oil and makes a little bit more power. We're not talking about like 30, 50, but maybe five, maybe seven. Just keeping it safe, huh? Yeah, and keeping her safe, you know, trying to stay away from detonation. Because the cylinder can be so hot that it can ignite the fuel. We don't want that to happen. Okay. We want the spark plugs ignited, so we got to keep the cylinders cold. So there you go, guys. That's what we're going to do right now. We're going to go ahead and uh, get the thermostat switched out, and then we'll possibly put it on the dyno. See what we make today and uh, go from there. I do need to still do the four by four on this thing. Probably should go get that. So we, while well, it's on the lift, we can go ahead and install it. So that way, all I'll need is this, the link to put this on and we should be good to go. So we might do that. So y'all stay tuned. Got 
Damn, look at that. It's like a performance shop now, nah, Chris. Look at that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I probably need to go back and, and get that. The shaft. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm probably, I'm gonna go home, get the shaft. That way we can go ahead and connect all the four by four. I don't know for sure if that one is gonna fit on this one, but I got it from my boy Vargas. Vargas said it should fit, so we're gonna try it and uh, go from there, guys. Man, it's freaking cold out here. I wish it was warmer. I hate the cold, guys. But uh, we're gonna go home, get that shaft, and then we'll see whatever we have to do to make the link that connects the little handle to the actual gearbox uh, because it needs to be like an inch longer. So. Hopefully we can get that too, and if we get that, all that, those two things, we should be able to do a 4x4 launch, so. Hey, yo, look at that boy Chris getting his hands dirty. Like always. You don't sit behind a computer in the mud, oh, Chris? No, sir. Like I said, we're going to change the thermostat, put all the fluids back in, make sure everything's good, and then we'll be putting it on the dyno, guys, so. Today, we should have a number, right, Chris? We should have a number today? We're going to pray on that one, but yeah. Yeah, I mean, whatever number it makes, I mean, I'm happy with it, because the truck is running really, really good. Uh, now I'll just know what it actually makes. And uh, this is just a street truck. Yeah, yeah, it really is just a street truck. It has AC, full interior, AC and heater because, yeah, you need that around here in Texas. Like I said, I'm happy with it. Now I can't say like, oh, I don't know what it's making because I, I will know what it's making. <laughs> Six and a half hours later. All right, so Chris already put in a new thermostat, and uh, yeah, good thing we changed it because they did say it does look a little. Okay, I'll just show you guys. So maybe this is why my stuff leaked a little bit. So I had a small little coolant leak. So yeah, good thing we're replacing it. And then we'll actually get some true numbers. And uh, yeah, cause I don't think you tuned it for the 160 with that Chris. Cause I, I thought I didn't have that. Yeah, no, I need just the fan settings for that. Yeah, so we should be good to go now. So, and a little bit more and then we'll be able to hit it on the dyno. Thermostat's back on. Now we just gotta top it off with the coolant. We should be good to go. My oh boy Chris took like what five minutes to do that? No, more like 30 minutes. 30 minutes? Nah, it was like five, ten minutes. <laughs> he made more of a mess than what he did to fucking. <laughs> Look at that coolant. It's nothing but coolant and distilled water. What you're supposed to use. Straight out the water hose. Straight <laughs> out the water hose. We want all the minerals in there. It helps. Yeah, it's protein. Protein. <laughs> All right, boy, Ricky said he, he don't need a funnel. All right, Ricky. He is the funnel. Said he is the funnel. Oh, let me get you. All right, bro. He does this shit on the dyno all the time. He said he'll do it with the truck moving. Oh, shit. <laughs> he said, turn the truck on. Oh, shit. Yeah, boy, Ricky got that. Oh. No, got full. Slide a hand or what? That looks thirsty. That was it. Y'all only got one? Yeah. He said we're gonna do the rest with water. You know how crazy. Oh, this will concentrate? Yeah. yeah. Oh, shit. No, it's no, not. It's 50 50. Yeah. It's good. Man. Just put a little first with water. No, no, I wouldn't do that. Yeah. yeah. It does, did it have top, tap water before? Yeah. No. I wouldn't. It had distilled water. He's lying. You, see, you don't care, but there is gonna leave white shit all over his Bro, bro. There, was already, like, there was already white shit there. No, it was distilled water. Cap. Cap. Bro, looking looking at this. Maybe before. Cap. Maybe before. Oh, I mean, that's been molested already. So. Uh, I don't know. It's, right, all to, it's all up to Woody. I don't care. I don't know Woody was going on. So, 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 so. We're going to put it on the dyno. It's See if I got enough power to beat you. Huh? See if I have enough power to beat you. You already hear Omar's new build is going to be like a thousand. So. You got to watch it. You got to get ready for it. I'm too broke, dog. I got, I got no money, dog. Bro, you're the most famous one in here. I'm broke, dog. Even if I am famous, I'm still broke. <laughs> credit cards. Credit cards. I got them too. I'm still fake it, fake it till you make it or what? We hey, got a firm bro. now. We got a firm now. Bro, just remember. <laughs> I like looking homeless. Oh, oh what's that mean? Yeah, 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 yeah. Stay home. Where the wallet at? <laughs> For real, like my ultimate goal is to like drive my uh, my Audi R8 and still look homeless. There's nothing wrong with that. That's like the, the that's like the best flex anybody can ever do. Yeah. Anybody anybody can look rich. I'll tell you that for sure. Even the poor people can look rich. You're gonna look rich in an R8. I just won't pull out. <laughs> <laughs>
Hey, we'll put the still hey, water hey, when we get the built motor. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> you saw him? Fuck that, Ricky. Uh, look, look where they taught him. Hey, we'll put the still water when we get the built motor. This is built. Yeah, all right. Built from the factory. Yeah, <laughs> built. All right, we're gonna turn it on, make sure all the air is out of it. So that's what we're doing right now. And uh, yeah, we should be have everything ready to go. 